Hello, this is Ludwig from Lamp Apps, and today I'm not going to show you something uh, made in Game Salad like I normally do, but I'm going to show you how to make a spiral like the shape you see on screen now, um, made in Blender 3D. Okay, so let me try and rotate this. I have some problems sometimes with. There you go, my mouse. As you can see, it's a nice spiral shape um, made out of wood. It's still open here, but that's something that's easily fixed. It's more a to show you how to create uh, a shape like this. And just for the sake of it, I'll add it some uh, wood texture and displacement map. Okay, so I'll start by um, first going to file and reload the startup file and then I'll go to preferences because I'm pretty sure you want to show to know what keys I'm pressing so I'll type in key here screencast keys turn that one on press N because you have to start it here as well. And let's make the mouse a little bit bigger. Oh, that's not really bigger. That's bigger. So it's better to better so you can see it on a smaller screen as well. Okay, um that's that. Then we'll go to the uh, standard cube that's always in here. Um, hit 5 for a, uh, I don't know what it's called, parallel view or something. Uh, hit 1 for the uh, front view of the cube and then go to edit mode by using this menu or by pressing tab, object mode, tab, edit mode. Okay, um, first what I want to do is move this cube a little bit down. Uh, I do it by pressing G, Z, and minus 7. That's 7 Blender units down, as you'll probably understand. Um, next, I will uh, remove some faces. So I'll turn it around a bit, go to the face select, uh, hit that button and select this face, delete it by hitting X and, and then remove the face, X, remove face, okay, so as you can see I have a cube like this now, well it's not a cube anymore, but anyway, um, get out of edit mode, go to object mode and make sure that the cursor is in the uh, base position, you can also, if it's, if you by accident clicked it, you can hit shift C to have it back on that position again. Um, okay, what I want to do is add an empty, you can do that here, add empty, or as always hit shift A, add empty, and this time I'll add a cube shape, doesn't really matter, but it's just because then I can um, see uh, what I'm doing when rotating and doing stuff like that, okay? Um, select the uh, cube again, right mouse button and click on it and go to the little wrench here and add a modifier. This modifier is called an array and uh, what an array does is it adds um, duplicates duplicates of uh, an object on a certain position. Um, it's kind of uh, an odd way to explain it perhaps, but it's all you need to know for now. Um, turn off relative offset, make sure constant offset is off too, uh, and hit object offset, tick the box and select the empty. So the object offset is now related to this empty object. Um, as you can see, uh, 
no matter how many duplicates I make. There's nothing happening here. That's because um, it's now related to this object and the offset is now, is, the object is still in the same place it was. So there are more, more cubes in this, but they're all uh, on the same spot. If you wanna, what I wanna do is uh, rotate this empty so all the duplicates will rotate with it. Okay, so select the um, empty, hit R from rotate, and type on the num keypad minus 30. Hit enter. And as you can see, there's 30 degrees between the first and the second one. I'll go back to the cube again and make some more. Let's go until here and go back to the empty and next what I want to do is make them smaller uh, make the duplicates smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller okay uh, so hit scale hit on the num keypad uh, dot 92 for example hmm. hit escape again scale s dot 93 okay hit enter and as you can see now it's kind of starting to get the shape i want uh i want some more cubes here oops shift c to get that one back uh so hit the cube again and add some more 22 okay um there's one thing i always notice when i do this is that the um i don't know what it is if someone knows and would like to react on this video please do so um, the angles of the cubes are not correct so the the ones that are uh, 90 degrees the first one is okay because it is like zero degrees and this is 90 degrees 90 degrees but the ones in between ain't as you can see the angle is is not good because i want to have a flowing shape here and it's just rotated a little bit too much. I don't know why that is. I've tried to, to uh, put the center in a different position and stuff like that, but it didn't work. So, works. so I came up with the following workaround. Uh, select the cube object and go to edit mode. Um, make sure there's nothing selected and hit A to select everything. Or if there's anything selected, hit A to deselect and A to select again. Hit one for uh, front view and hit R to rotate the cube and rotate it so that the uh, shape is more fluent or the, the, the um, well, I mean, that this is more fluent, okay? So it was like this, a bit exaggerated now, but I will just rotate it anti clockwise until it has a nice and fluent shape. Just a little bit more, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's okay. Isn't it? Looks about right to me. Perhaps a little bit back. I don't know if it's something you know, but when you rotate, uh, you can hit R by to start rotating like that but when you're too close to the object and hit R you see it's kind of hard to have the rotation fluently so make sure that the mouse pointer is as far away as possible from the object and then hit R because then you can have like really small increments okay uh, okay but anyway I think this is correct let's go out of edit mode again and back to object mode and uh, next thing we'll have to do is connect these pieces. We have an option here. It's called merge first and last. Make sure that, that one is selected. And nothing really happens now, but what it should do is um, connect uh, the last one from this one to the first one here. Okay. And what I think it's doing, it's looking for the uh, uh, closest vertice 
in that direction um, to make a connection okay I'm not sure if that's clear but once you'll see it you'll understand what I mean um, this one doesn't go further than one but when you drag it but in a way it does because when you select it open it up you can just type in any number you like let's type in three okay that must be probably too much so we'll go down a bit and you get all these nice shapes but at a certain point you'll get the shape you want and there you go you see that's nice right that's a nice spiral okay um what's next let me think um well the spiral is uh, the shape is correct and uh, that's what we wanted and now let's add um, another modifier whoops it's called the subdivision surface you'll probably know it and let's put it on two for now and let's put this shape on smooth and as you can see it's a nice looks a little bit like a tusk from a mammoth or something okay um, let's get this one out of the way select it hit M and move it to another layer so you don't see it anymore I think it's kind of annoying um, okay next thing we can do is I want to have the um, bring back the um, selected go to edit mode um, bring back the uh, the edge around this shape um, I've seen people doing it with uh, like this with an uh, what's that again a uh, a loop edge and then do stuff like this but it, I, I don't like it that way a loop cut is what it's called I don't think that's the way to do it the way I do it is um, I select one of these all these sides so I have this one on so I can select the ones in the back as well if you turn it off oh that's not true it's just because it's still an open shape okay anyway let's do it again select all the ones I want to um, give a sharp edge uh, make sure you you're using the uh, uh, edge select and not the uh, vertices select or vertex select because you can see it will select the whole cube instead of just the sides so let's do it again edge select and um, what I'd like to do is do the following hit space type in crease and hit shift E as you can see edge crease and look at this a voila that's what I want okay isn't that nice okay let's go back to object mode and hit it one more time to make it just a little bit more give it a little bit more uh, definition to the same known for the render that's this is this is for when you want to uh, render out later you have uh, three subdivisions this is for the viewport that you see here okay um, let's go to the cycles render because I want to render it in cycles because it's just way nicer these days to do that anyway um, okay let's uh, do something with the material let's add a node and instead of a color I want to add an image now I already have an image lying around somewhere uh, let's see where's my blender folder blender spiral and it's uh, this one it's gonna have a strange name but it's something I uh, just googled up it's a kind of a cartoonish wood shape um, and of course you only get the color nothing happens it's not of course but it's just the way it is uh, but I want the texture in there so how can I do that 
go to compositing the compositing uh, uh, view and what you have to do first is unwrap the spiral so um, select the spiral go to edit mode and since it's not yet the spiral it's making it a lot more easy for me um, what I first want to do is this one mark seam or hit T and unwrap mark seam as you can see it's there as well T um, then hit it all hit oops hits U and unwrap as you can see it's all uh, all the four sides are on the uh, thingy here load in the, the image and since I know it's uh, one fourth this whole shape I can just do scale and hit 4 so it will be exact the right size and hit G put it on there and have a look at the rendered version and as you can see that's pretty awesome isn't it and easy it's a little bit dark but we'll do something about that later on first what I want to do is um, uh, also make a displacement map and do something about the uh, the uh, glossiness of the, uh, the wood so we'll go to this one no tree and as you can see this is um, the fun part of blender as I heard other uh, tutors say um, what have you got here this is the image texture and on the image texture there's a diffuse uh, um, color and uh, it's outputted on the surface what I want to do first is uh, add a shader to a diffuse shader I'm sorry if I don't get the correct uh, terms I want to add a glossy uh, shader to this um, for some reason I like to put the glossy shades on top I don't know why okay there we go um, okay connect this one and what we need as well here is a, a mixer so add a shader and add a mix shader put it in there and add this one there and that one there uh, factor 0.5 means that it's uh, both of them are uh, half of each uh, shader is added and put to the output material if you put it on one you get the bottom one if you put it on zero you get the top one now, as you can see there's uh, a nice glossy thing going around here and if you um, increase the roughness it gets uh, less uh, glossy and more uh, diffuse so if you want to have a real nice specular put it down but for wood I kind of tend to put it up a bit uh, and let's go to the diffuse one let's see what it does let's put it a little bit, oops, a little bit bigger um, I like to have it kind of diffuse, kind of um, a uh, matter of taste. I mean, you can make it shiny as you as you want, as as a baby's bottom, <laughs> so to speak. Um, that's just, uh, I mean, wood can be like that, but it doesn't have doesn't have to be right. Uh, okay, let's put it at 0.5, and as you can see, you have a nice uh, glossy thing there, but not too much. Okay, next thing I want to do is add a uh, displacement. As you can see, there's a little displacement thing in the output already um, I'm not doing it kind of the right way because you need a displacement map but you can use uh, the, uh, the texture for displacement as well uh, so let's do shift D to copy this texture color and drag it to the displacement 
thingy and as you can see now it's there if I drag it out it's gone so it's not really the right way but it's I mean it's working right okay um, let's do something about the lighting uh, first let's do something about the backdrop uh, use notes or don't use notes that's the question um, let's just make it a little bit blue for now okay and hmm let's use notes just so I can do it a little bit more precise kinda okay uh, let's get out of the uh, rendered version and go to the soft version again hit 7 for top view as you can see there's a little uh, light here oh I'm still in edit mode so I can't select it go to optic mode light hit the lights grab it and place it on this side and let's make it a hit this one first here click this one first and make it a sun rotate it in the direction of our spiral and also um, rotate it up a bit do that by rotate x x so it rotates about its own x uh, axis as you can see it's hitting it perfectly now that's one light uh, use notes uh, you can give it a color if you like like a little bit yellow or something and uh, let's say five let's have a look at the rendered version again that's uh, nice and what i also want to do is add a little backlight just so it um, uh, lights up the darker parts a little bit uh, let's go to solve again seven select the light shift d to copy it and move it around a bit uh, make this a hemi hemisphere <laughs> rotate it grab rotate um, let's put it a little bit more on that one rotate it grab and let's see what it does now by looking at the rendered version it's probably a little bit too light now I just wanted to fill in this and now it's like Mm, that's about right I guess there's a little shadow falling on there from the other uh, ones I don't think I want that so let's move it a little bit uh, grab rotate go back to render mode perhaps I'm going a bit fast now but this is just uh, something that's um, up on YouTube a lot of times and it's just a little extra I'll add to this uh, shape okay as you can see it's uh, coming out pretty nice I think um, let's just uh, make this a little bit darker say four perhaps render hmm no 4.5 perhaps five okay let's say this is it uh, hit zero for camera view then uh, select the camera you don't see it now because it's an, in a render uh, shading you can see here that it's selected hit grab and z twice to zoom out uh, okay let's do it like that and um, okay what I can do as well by the way uh, go to the uh, solid mode hit select this one edit mode um, as you can see it's still one cube so what we can do is go to the uh, modifier menu and uh, apply the uh, array modifier so as you can see now when you go back to the edit mode it's one shape. I'll just save this one. Uh, my hard drive is making noises. Save. 
Okay, uh, and let's close this one up by selecting these and hit F and crease, edge crease, and let's do the same thing for this one here. Select them, oops, not that one, turn it off, okay, crease, same thing, get out of there, okay, so now it's a closed shape, go back to uh, rendered, and there you go, now it's nice and closed. Um, the texture isn't really nice here, but for now it'll do. That's something. For an other tutorial. Okay, so I'll just render that now and show you the end result again. Um, let's say 500 and hit render and I'll be back when it's finished.